choose you, Cinnamon! Let's go, Pikachu! That's a lie. You broke the chair, man. I did. I barely sat down on it. I'm so fat. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I'm Matt Zine along with Death Toll, and today we're going to be trying a limited edition, limited batch exclusive flavor of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. This is cotton candy ice cream. And it's cotton candy ice cream loaded with candy sprinkles. Ooh, Ooh. sprinkles. This does not sound good to me. No? No. Cotton candy is kind of a. Like, I have to be really in the mood for it type of thing. Even when I go to the LA County Fair, I never get cotton candy. It's all over the place. I prefer to get, like, deep-fried stuff because I'm fat. Yeah, that's what LA County Fair is all about. So, deep-fried stuff, I think. We have plastic spoons, which annoys a lot of people. I am going to get this open, though. Why? Why does that annoy people? I The reason I do plastic spoons is I don't want to do the dishes every five minutes. Like, every time we do a show, we used to use regular stuff. And we had to always do... Dishes. It was annoying. Cotton candy from Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's is usually spectacular. I think it's yeah, weird, Ben and Jerry's. It does smell like cotton candy. Yeah, it does actually. It tastes like it too. It has the crunch. Yeah. That's weird, right? Mm-hmm. It melts in your mouth like cotton candy. Also, I'll stay on my side. You stay on your side. All right. Fair enough. Oh God, why is this so hard? Hmm. Yeah. Why? Wow, it's weird. The ice cream itself, not even just the candy bits, it dissolves in your mouth just like cotton candy does. Weird. I didn't know they could do that with ice cream. Well, apparently they can. This mm. is delicious, dude. Ben & Jerry's is awesome. It's one of my favorite non, like, you have to buy it at a restaurant or, like, whatever ice cream is basically you can get at a market. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's the best one out of these types. The problem with this one, though, it's good... But I'd rather have their other flavors, like their pretzel. They have like a pretzel one. They have like a peanut butter chocolate one. Oh. I'm just more of a chocolatey kind of guy. Oh, okay. I don't really like vanilla all that much. It's not bad. I'll have it on occasion. But when I get vanilla, I usually douse it in like chocolate syrup to make it more of what I like. Oh, well, yeah. I just, a few bites of this, it's got, it's got a little saltiness to it too. And like candy. I'm getting out of my teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. But a little bit, yeah. it's very sweet. It's just like cotton candy. If, if not better than cotton candy, I actually think this is a better experience than <laughs> cotton candy. But they have other flavors I much prefer. I could give this a really high three out of five though. It's not too bad, and it's also I think it's only three dollars and like twenty cents or something. So that's not a, super expensive yeah, either. It's pretty good for. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I actually really like this. The only thing I'd rate higher than this is um, Stephen Colbert's American Dream. And if you stay tuned tomorrow, you're going to see that episode. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a, that's a definite five out of five. I've never had it before. Approval. Yeah, I guess, well, I guess that we know his rating weird. already. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's getting better with time, too. The more bites I'm taking, the more I'm liking it. I just feel like I'd still rather have one of their other flavors than this. I still just think, overall, this is, it's good, but it's not, it's not one of their better flavors. It's definitely a curiosity, though. I mean, I see cotton candy, I'm like, oh, wow, that sounds interesting. How can they do that? If you're going to do cotton candy ice cream, this is the way to do it. Yeah, this is definitely the way to do it. Mm -hmm. But ben, like, like you said, and like you know, I said before, Ben and Jerry's, you can't go wrong, really. I didn't even they know make they a had, lot of good stuff. I didn't know they had, like, stores. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've actually been to one. I want to go. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's they, like, have, uh, they have one in our area, too. Like, there's one that's it's like 30 or 40 minutes away, but... There's one that's close by. I didn't. I had no idea they had that. They just sell nothing but Ben and Jerry stuff, right? Yeah. Is it like Thirty One Flavors Baskin Robbins, where yeah. like you get? Okay, so it's they don't. Similar. But they sell them in these too, right? Yeah, they do. They do. That's cool. I gotta go. One but day. they, yeah, they'll have them out like in the little tubes, you know, the whatever right. they call them, the buckets. Yeah. Do that too. So. Interesting. I got one day. We gotta do uh, soon the Anchorman one, the Scotchy Scotch Scotch. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but I assume once Anchorman actually comes out, then it'll be all over the place. The but they're, they're starting to talk about it. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, it's recommended if you like cotton candy, if you have a boner for cotton candy, this yeah, is right. definitely the flavor to get. Definitely. Yeah, it's really, really good. So, there you go. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Rex Eden Shorts, aka Shorts. Stay tuned tomorrow for another Ben and Jerry's flavor. See you then.